All right, we are excited to announce the winners today in the CGI IT Girl Challenge. CGI hosted this competition mm -hmm. for young women from Pittsburgh Public Schools to form small groups and then develop a smartphone app. These girls are really smart. Teams then pitch their app design to a panel for a chance to win the $20,000 scholarship. Mikey Hood tells us more and introduces us to the winning team. Tell me a little bit about the IT Girl Challenge. It sounds so exciting. Yeah, so a year ago, the challenge was just an idea. <laughs> uh, we pitched to CGI, then I, you know, my company, I thought, hey, I would love to do a mobile app competition for high school girls. Over, you know, since January, we've been working with them, mentoring them at school, and then <laughs> COVID hit, and then it became remote mentoring um, to build a mobile app. And we held a competition and the winning team actually won $20,000. Talk a little bit about the process because I'm sure this was not easy. This wouldn't be easy for an adult, <laughs> let alone kids. Back in January, we started partnering with teachers who are the real heroes these days. And um, they were able to form teams of two to four girls in a team. And we started by going into the schools and mentoring these students in person. And then COVID hit and changed our worlds upside down. All of the students were sent home and not all the students had access to everything they needed. Um, and so we very quickly, uh, we got laptops to the girls who needed it. We made sure everyone had internet access and we started doing mentoring virtually. Through that, the girls had to create video pitches, right? So they had to do everything virtual from building the app, from FaceTiming each other when they got stuck on things. And then they built uh, videos to demo their products to a group of executives, all executives from different industries, from tech to banking, to retail, to education, um, who judged the apps. And uh, these executives were so impressed. I think we all want to hire the girls as soon as they're done <laughs> with, with their schooling. Um, we did not want anyone to have to give up just because of this. And I'm proud to say that the 14 girls who completed the challenge persevered through it all. I can't imagine doing this challenge plus COVID plus school changing and, and all of the things that these girls went through is quite impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, the first place team and in fact the team with the highest scores for innovation is Dear B of Brashear High School. Isabel Mendoza and Kara Robinson are our winners. In fact, they won the $20,000 scholarship to be split evenly among them. We were like, ah, I don't know if we're going to win or nothing. And to like when they were going like third place, second place, and they didn't call our name real, I was like, Isabel, we might, we might. And then when they said the first syllable, I lost my mind. I was with my sister and me and my sister were jumping up and down, like screaming that, you know, that we won and stuff. They really found a problem in their school and have solved it. So they built a mobile app that um, it incorporates a lot of different things. It's news from school for teachers and students, but they also incorporated a language translator because of how diverse and large Brashear is. They incorporated social media, they incorporated a photo booth to make it interactive so that people would actually use the app, which I, I just thought was really impressive. Um, they had the highest innovation scores. Uh, and so it just goes to show that um, in tech, innovation always wins. <laughs> so what's next for the IT Girl Challenge? CJ is committed to not only funding the resources to do it again, Again, very exciting, but also to continue that mentorship. So we're going to continue mentoring these girls who have obviously showed great perseverance and we're ready to do it again. So we're ramping up more resources and really getting ready to expand the program, the CGIT Girl Challenge program to other communities, along with our STEM at CGI larger umbrella program, where we again have mentored those 11,000 students and we're going to keep it going really focused on those who are underrepresented in STEM. So girls, uh, minority groups, and those with economically disadvantaged backgrounds. Uh, well, thank you, Nicole. Thank you for all the work that you and CGI are, are doing with these young women. And congrats to the winners. Thanks, Mikey. <laughs> to learn more about the STEM at CGI program and download activity packs to help students learn about robotics and coding, visit CGI.com. Back to you.